Canadian Tire. It's my favorite place in the world, guys. See if I can um, park. So I'm driving a girlfriend's car for the day, and she has a maintenance light because she needs to do her oil change and um, windshield washer fluid lights on as well. So we're gonna go with Kenny Tire. We're gonna get some oil, filter, crush washer, and uh, some windshield washer fluid. Let's go. Okay, bag is secured. Turn the head on. Get all those damn lights, bro. Okay, back home finally. All right, what I got was this oil right here, 5W20. This is the filter I got. The part number's right there. Last time I did an oil change, I didn't show the part number. Gotten shit. And I bought this filter because last time I spilled oil. And this is the old oil pan. Nasty. And you're going to need jack stands and a jack. I'm just letting the engine cool down right now. And you're gonna need two wheel trucks. That's good. Next side. What kind of oil your car takes? It's on the oil cap. Let me open this. You take the lid off so it um, flows better when you um, open the drain plug. All right. Our car is jacked up. Let's see. The rain plug is right there. The oh, filter is right there. Uh, let me see, find out what size that drain plug is. 17 mil. Ooh, one shot, one shot. Alright, so drain plug is a uh, 17 mil. I'm gonna get my ratchet, break this loose, put my oil pan right here. I'm probably gonna drop this. I'm just gonna let that drain out. You're gonna take this time and replace your crush washer if you bought one. I didn't buy one. All right, you're gonna want to start the treads by hand so you don't cross tread anything, and then get your ratchet on it. The thing is, you don't want it too tight, so. That's good. All right, time to get that guy up. All right, guys. There's a tool that you could buy that fits over here, and you put your ratchet in it and you crank it off. But the thing is, the more things that you have to buy, it defeats the purpose of this video. So I'm gonna do it my way. I'm gonna get a screwdriver. I shouldn't say my way and I'm gonna hammer the screwdriver into the side of here you're gonna pull your oil pan underneath let it drain out a little bit and then you're gonna use it for leverage and just break it turn it to the left break it open and then pull the screwdriver out let it leak out a little bit and then screw it off that's how I always do it cuz until I buy that tool one day when I'm rich hopefully
Uh-huh. That's how you do it. <laughs> oh, that was close. All right, now we're gonna clean up the area and screw the new filter in. I like Fram filters even though people hate them. It has a grip here, so it's easier to turn it with your hand. Now we're gonna pour in 4.3 liters or 4.5. Not a big difference. Let's check the dipstick after. Okay, it's a five liter bottle. I poured out 4.5. There's only 0.5 left in the bottle. So now if you spill anything, wipe it up and you should be good to go. Gonna run the engine. I'm gonna run the engine. Let it get up to a temperature and then shut the dipstick. Okay, turn the motor off. Pull the dipstick out. And you're gonna wipe it off and put it back in. All right, once you put it back in, you're gonna wanna check that the oil is to that second, to the second dot right here. And that's so you know you're at the correct level. So put this in. See where we at. And we good. If I could keep that steady, shaky warrior. Alright, we good man. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to reset your light. You're gonna put the key to the on position. Don't start the car. So I can get a look at zoom action. A little zoom action. All right, that's good enough. Oh, we're already here. So if it wasn't on this screen, you're gonna cycle through. You're gonna be pushing this knob right here. And then you're gonna get here to where it says oil life. And you're gonna push the knob down, hold it until it starts flashing. Okay, now you're gonna twist the knob to select. And then once oil life is flashing, you're gonna press the knob one more time. And then now you're gonna hold the knob down to reset it until it's at 100%. Holding it. And you're good to go. That wrench light, that maintenance light should disappear now. All right, now to get rid of that light, wrench your washer fluid. I'm gonna take this time to uh, refill our windshield washer. God damn, who put this on? <laughs> Alright, watch me spill shit. You know what? You can get your funnel, or if you have steady hands, you don't need one, or if you can't afford a funnel like me, um, just cut the top off, the bottom off a water bottle, flip it upside down, and then pour your when she wash your fluid in. Easy as that, man. Free of charge. You're welcome. Yo, that this car was thirsty as fuck, bro. Took all the goddamn... All right, no lights. How right, we good, guys? That ends our journey, guys. I have to give this car back to my girlfriend or I could just drive out the gas, you know. Okay, I'll, I'll just give it back. All right, guys. See you in the next one. Dollar in the wrench. Yeah.
yeah. My been through hard yes, my been through pain. My seen enough struggles and my been through strain. Sure as the Lord fall, rain, so things don't change. And when the money run, you know my can't move strange. Cause I'm as fine as a winner.